Wow, guys. Just wow. So I just finished Carrie's entire quest line, and I've got to say I'm irked and feeling kind of like a loser. So let me walk you guys through this awkward mess. Now, first, let me preface this with some background info. I had heard that Carrie was a male-only romance, but had no actual proof of it myself. I hadn't gone out of my way to look into it. I had also heard from a lot of people that Carrie was supposed to be bi and even documented as so in the source book. I can't confirm that though, because I only have the source book that came with my pre-order and I couldn't find any specific info in there. So to be honest, I wasn't really sure what to think in regards to his romance in the game. So I was just playing like normal and I wanted to give Johnny the chance to hook up with Rogue. And because I was into the idea of Samurai getting their reunion, I followed through this incredibly long quest chain. It was pretty awesome and I found Carrie to be the most interesting of the group, aside from Denny, who I brought along with me because screw that guy who dumped a cement truck into her pool. What a jerk. So after the show was over, I was kind of shocked to see that Carrie messaged me again. I kind of thought that was all there would be with him. He's looking for Johnny, but says that you'll work too, saying he wants to hire you for a job. Okay, cool, murmurk work, let's go. Carrie picks you up and tells you along the way about his rather precarious predicament. He's pissed off because some girl group is doing a cover of one of his songs, and he's just not having it. His solution? Blow up the van delivering their musical gear. Makes total sense. I won't deny it was pretty fun throwing that grenade at the van though. <laughs> Running from the police was also pretty fun. And then afterwards we got some coffee. As V put it. Wow. Coffee with a rock star? Now why not? First time for everything. So we chat and it's cool and all, but I'm not getting my hopes up. He texts afterwards talking about how awesome blowing up that van was and basically asks you to keep in touch. Then you get another call and it looks like your little stunt didn't work. So our dear Carrie has a new plan. Find a way backstage and hold the girls at gunpoint until they say they won't play the song. Hmm, but things backfire <laughs> as the girls recognize him and call him Carrie son. This is probably the funniest scene too, by the way. <laughs> Let me show it. Carrie, you're a dime. Carrie son! Son. This ain't a meet and greet either. <laughs> I ain't your son. I had a good laugh at that anyway. So come to find out, his own manager set up a deal with the girls saying that Carrie wanted to work with them. Realizing he could only blame his label and feeling sentimental about the girls' adoration of him, he decides to work with them. They promise to talk to the label and call off their tour until things are smoothed over. They all pose for a picture and Carrie decides to stay there with them, which to me felt a little bit like, hmm, a room with three girls who absolutely adore you? I bet you're gonna have fun. I'm also thinking, wasn't he supposed to be gay? I guess he actually does like girls. I mean, he even has this line here where he's like, yeah, gonna stick around some V. I mean, look at him. Girls need help. Thanks. Hmm, have fun. Sure, this could be 100% legit and he's actually wanting to help them, but it also seems like it could go the foursome way as well. <laughs> At the very least, he's likely enjoying the attention. Then I get yet another call and now Carrie is inviting me to a concert that he's putting on with the girl band. At this point, I was actually pretty shocked that things had gone on as long as they did. I thought it would be fun to go check out the show though, and I was not disappointed when presented with this bizarre scene. After I finally pushed my way through the crowd, I found Carrie and was treated to damn near celebrity status as he called me his right hand and some lady asked me what it was like hanging out with him. He introduced me to some dude who could sell me drugs and I politely declined. But this is where it got weird. Carrie takes me upstairs to show me something. Show you one of my favorite spots in Night City. Don't come here often, but when I do, it's important. Should I feel special? Don't let it go to your head. So he tells them to shut the place down just for me and him to be there. And I'm thinking with my eyes darting around the room nervously, is this all right? What's going on? But I mean, 
he is rich, so maybe this is just what rich people do with their money, show it off. The scenery is beautiful and my V is appreciating it. There are several options to respond, but because I'm feeling the heavy romantic vibe of the scene, I decide to pick a flirty response. Maybe it is possible to romance him, I'm thinking. So here goes. So damn, that got heavy pretty quick as he has this really serious personal conversation with my V about feeling like a sellout as well as all of the things people might say about him. He'll confide in you that he was really just worried about being left in someone's shadow again, just like he felt when he was around Johnny. Ooh, I'm thinking that's pretty cool that he's telling me about all this. And then it happened. I saw it. The magical phrase. Kiss? But what? I didn't think it was possible. I must just be really freaking awesome. And somehow I managed to find my way into his heart. Woo, he's by for me, baby. And just as my heart leapt into my throat with nervous excitement, it sunk down as far as it could go when he responded. Hold you to your word on that. Fuck, sorry V, I like you lots, but we, this ain't going anywhere. Ah, uh, oh. Um, no worries. Sorry. Never mind. Holy shit. Talk about the most awkward moment ever in a video game. My poor V is sharing my sentiment, stammering and feeling like a freaking lame ass. She pats him on the shoulder, feeling the freeze out and leaves saying, Haha, I guess I'll see you later. Wow, that went poorly. I've never had someone say fuck when I've tried to kiss them, and I mean in a bad way like this. It actually made me feel like total shit. Not gonna lie, I can't help but feel like this could have been left out of the game entirely on the female branch, but oh well, it happened. I'm figuring he just isn't into me, and I'll move on. So just as I'm thinking that it's over and I'm never going to hear from him again because that shit was so awkward, I get another call. This time it's to invite me to a yacht. I'm thinking, hmm, all right, what is this about? Still like a good simp, I go running when called, but I just know it's not gonna end well. I shouldn't go, but man, when the quest is called boat drinks, how can you turn it down? Ah, I know, so lame. So I get to the docks and Carrie is on a boat. He's all, Ahoy there, scallywag. And I'm basically inching up nervously, waiting for the Kool-Aid man to smash through the boat's hull. Like, oh yeah, I know it's gonna happen. I know this isn't gonna be pretty, but I'm thinking maybe he'll be cool. Like we're just friends. Like the awkward moment never happened, right? I mean, it's possible. It would make sense. I tried to kiss him. He didn't like it. I'm friend zoned now. And that would make sense. But no, that's not what happens. Everything feels kind of chill. Like Carrie has just taken me for a ride on his expensive boat, playing some guitar for me and talking about new beginnings. I'm like, hey, this is a pretty normal get together for Carrie. When are things going to get weird? <laughs> and then he starts with the whole, oh, this isn't my boat. It's my manager's yacht and we're going to destroy it. Okay, that didn't take long, but whatever. I'm game. I start knocking shit over and throwing things across the room. It's pretty fun, actually. And I'm getting into it, finding whatever I can and smashing it. Woo, this ain't bad. Take that record player. After breaking all the stuff, Carrie shouts from across the room. Give me a hand with this motherfucker! And I'm like, what the fuck is that thing? A flagpole? An obnoxiously large lever? Okay, well, my only option is to help, so I guess I'm helping. Whoa, man, what is going on? I thought he shut me down. Why the hell is he like right up in my face? Then he just stops and stares at me for like three whole seconds, like he's gonna kiss me. And then he says, then he says, oh, then he says, No, thanks, me. I'm all right. Nani? I mean, this shit has entered into the realm of the cruel. Why leave all of this in the game for female players? It's just mean. I had read that he was a male-only romance option and I still wondered by this point if maybe I had read wrong because of the way he was acting towards me and then it just kept 
common. We're not talking potentially confusing cues. We're talking very clear, very obvious flirts and come-ons. Afterwards, as we both sat on the beach, I was just like, you know what? Fuck you, Carrie. What a dick move. And to be honest, I really liked him up until that point. I thought I had no chance after getting shut down on the roof, but then he invites me out to a private yacht. I get my hopes up all over again. It's so messed up. Then that final bit, that final, nah, I'm all right, V. Just wow. They don't even give you the option this time of whether you want to pause there with him, but instead you're forced into it and then made to feel like a creepy loser all over again. Oh my god, it just sucks so much. And then what really sucks is that I kind of liked him too, so it felt like even up until that moment that he might change his mind, but instead I get slapped down all over again. I'm betting they left all the same stuff in from the guy's branch, but didn't account for any difference with the female path, leaving your female V to feel like, I don't know, a total creep for picking up on seriously flirty vibes that you apparently read completely wrong, but you didn't read them wrong because they just left the same exact ones in. <laughs> I didn't even realize this until other people started talking to me about how they were seeing Judy's final quest and how it felt kind of weird to see something so personal when not romancing her. I had no idea you could even see these quests unless you were actually romancing people. I was so taken aback by that entire scene on the boat though. Why do that to people? There is no choice at all. Well, I mean, unless you just don't go. Sadly, I really liked Carrie and I felt that if things had been handled better, we could have at least been good friends. But seriously, how am I supposed to look at that guy the same now? Did any of my lady viewers run into this as well? Did it make you feel like a total creep like it did me? I just really hate how it was handled. Sure, in Dragon Age Inquisition, there was something similar to this situation with Dorian, where he flirts with you like mad and then says he's not interested. But at least there is some reconciliation to the whole affair. You can choose whether you want to keep flirting, and it feels like your friendship is more solidified from the encounter. In Cyberpunk, though, there is no option to talk about it with Carrie, and his shutdown is so nonchalant. It just left me pissed off. Like, damn it, you called me here. You got in my face like you were going to kiss me, and then you just said, no thanks? That's not cool, man. It's just not cool. On the other hand, I saw a sneak peek at the sex scene on someone else's channel, and I've got to say I'm a little jealous because I would have been so down for sex on a burning boat. Beats having to be quiet while the kids are sleeping. <sighs> My V is just going to be alone until the Takamura romance becomes a thing. He is the only man that's good enough for V anyway. And speaking of which, if you haven't heard, I finally finished my Takamura fanfic that I've been working on and I threw it up on my Patreon as a public post. So check it out and be sure to leave some nice comments because I'm not used to sharing that stuff and I won't deny it's mildly embarrassing. Also be warned, it's extra spicy smut so you need to be 18 plus for it. That's it for now, guys. I'ma go be my awkward self over in the corner while Carrie looks at me disapprovingly. See ya.